So I decided to do my case study this week on the American Cancer Society and the Susan G. Komen Foundation, which was option one on Sakai. I decided to do these two because I have some close ties to cancer myself with both my grandmother and my grandfather. So our first job was to interpret and find out what the messages for each organization was. And I found from the American Cancer Society on both of their web pages for Relay for Life, which is their main fundraiser, and for their regular homepage, that their mission is to celebrate more birthdays and end cancer, and they've been doing so for over 100 years. Looking at the Susan G. Coleman Foundation, I found that their message was that they started 40 years ago when Susan G. Coleman passed away and her sister Nancy started the organization with the promise to end breast cancer forever. So that's their message to all of their donors for each organization. After I found the messages for each, I dove into their social media and their PR efforts. The first thing I focused on was their main fundraisers for each organization. The American Cancer Society's main fundraiser is Relay for Life, which can be put on by affiliates all across the nation, most commonly their colleges and universities. For example, URI does a Relay for Life. What it entails is having different events, and it usually lasts overnight, although URI does do a 12-hour event. And pretty much what they do is the whole message is to stand up for people who cannot stand. So ideally, you'll be standing up for most of Relay for Life, exercising, doing events like a dance-off, maybe there's going to be a dunk tank. I know URI does a photo booth, or they'll have you pay $5 or donate $5 to sit down for five minutes in order to raise more funds besides the registration fee. What the Susan G. Coleman Foundation does is raise for a cure. This can also be put on by affiliates like colleges and universities. The main difference is that it's a 5K and not a night long or an overnight or a 12 hour event. So this would probably last from five hours to six hours. And those are their two main fundraisers. In 2014, I know that the American Cancer Society raised over a million dollars through Relay for Life, and the Susan G. Coleman Foundation did similar fundraising efforts for their race for a cure. So both of them equally raised money for their causes. And then I started to look at the PR efforts that went into these main fundraising events. And the one main difference I noticed was that the American Cancer Society puts a lot of effort into their websites and their social media. For example, all of the Relay for Life and all of the campaign having to do with it has separate social media from the actual American Cancer Society as a whole. They have their own Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and it's all devoted to Relay for Life and what its mission is and celebrating more birthdays rather than focusing on the research and other donations and events that goes along with the American Cancer Society. I personally think that because of this and because of their social media efforts, the American Cancer Society does a way better job in their PR efforts than the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Because of this, having separate websites for Relay for Life, they're able to connect more personally with everybody participating in the relays, as well as comment and post personal stories. I also noticed on the Susan G. Coleman Foundation website and social media that it's all very similar. The American Cancer Society takes the time to post different videos, photos, comments about what's on their photos for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So you'll never find, or you'll sometimes very rarely find, that they're posting the same photo on the same day with the same caption on all of their social media. It's always different in focusing on different things in order to reach a wider range of people and really cater to the media that they're using and the outlet that they're trying to reach people on. The Susan G. Coleman Foundation, after looking at their social media, it's all the same. They'll post the same photo with the same caption on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and Facebook, and it's very repetitive. So that's another reason I believe that the American Cancer Society puts way more effort into their social media efforts and their PR efforts than the Susan G. Coleman Foundation, which is why I also concluded that their PR efforts are more successful and do a better job than the Susan G. Coleman Foundation's. Thank you.